morning guys welcome back to another vlog it is monday morning i have my light on because it's actually quite dark outside and it's eight o'clock <laughs> it feels very wintry um but i'm just getting ready to head up to london for a lunch it's a bit of a monday fun day it's my lovely assistant's 30th birthday on the weekend so i'm going up to london to take her out for some lunch yeah, a really nice chilled monday and then i'm a very busy at home filming week um, the rest of the week because I leave next Monday to go to France so this is like my last week at home for two weeks anyway I did a little um, look fantastic order so I thought well I didn't, do, didn't get much to be honest first thing I got was this hair barrel from Beauty Works um, I thought I'd give it a shot just to do some loose waves I'm intrigued to see how it lasts throughout the day I've been really loving my Dyson era actually um, like obsessed with it like I feel like my hair is the perfect length and the extensions are great with it so I'm really like getting on with that and I feel like it's better for my hair it's less heat um but this just arrived yesterday so I really wanted to try it I'll update you as the day goes on I can already see my natural hair length um like my natural hair waves have basically fallen out and then I got some makeup so I actually bought this foundation from MAC I haven't bought anything from MAC in so long studio radiance serum powdered foundation NC25 I went for. I'm normally NC... Well, I say normally when I was like... How old would I have been? Like 15? Look, can you see how straight that is? It's really annoying. Um, when I was like 15, I was NC20. I got shaved up, so we'll see if it works. I thought I'd just do my makeup on camera with you and have a little chin wag. I haven't shown you guys my makeup in so long. I'm going to drive up to London in about three hours. Um... I'm actually going to just park at my old house because that route is like super easy and then get a cab over to Mayfair. We're heading to a restaurant called Mr. Nice. So I'm excited to try that. I actually haven't looked at the menu. I am the kind of person that usually looks at the menu like a week before and <laughs> figures out what I'm going to eat. Oh, it might be a bit dark. Let me just see if I can... Ah, that could be okay. A bit orange might be fine if I wear a turtleneck <laughs> so I thought I would update you guys on my jaw chin lipo um now that I'm I'd say mostly healed um so yeah I had jaw type done with Dr. Selena which basically is liposuction under here and then skin tightening kind of like on this area and under here too um, and it's meant to leave you looking nice and chiseled and I kind of touched on it when I was I just freshly had it done because you guys could see that I was quite swollen um, so I thought I should explain that before I put that vlog out but I haven't actually chatted to you about it since but I am so happy with the results I think it has done the best job of just like sharpening up my jaw and getting rid of this little pouch of fat under here I think it's about three weeks or four weeks since I had it done and I'm still quite like I can feel that there's been something that's happened to my face you know like my jaw bone is feels a little bit weird um and kind of felt numb right up until like last week you know and also my neck feels a bit hard yeah i feel like it's pretty much back to normal um i would say there's still a tiny bit of swelling but the recovery is six weeks so, so yeah, i still have like a good two weeks possibly even three weeks of like recovery time but I can personally see a huge difference. Just to remind you all, I have no filler in my cheeks. I have no filler in my face apart from my lips and I have Botox in my whole forehead, like from eyes up. So I can see a huge difference, especially in this like, giving me like this kind of pointed chin. Um, and then also when I kind of talk, you can see I've got this like defined cheekbones, which I think has come from the skin tightening of like this section of my face. I definitely noticed like over the last kind of year, obviously I've touched on, I gained that bit of weight, lost that bit of weight, but also I'm just getting older, I'm 27, <laughs> right now, I'm 27 and a half. Um, I started to notice kind of like jowling, very, very slight, but started to notice it. I also have always had extra fat underneath my chin, but like everyone on my dad's side of the family like have this little bit of, it's like this little tiny pouch. So it's actually had annoyed me since I was like, I'm gonna say like 16. It always just used to like, if I was like sitting looking at my phone, especially when on camera, if I would like film from an angle and like look down, I could see like this little pouch and it got worse and worse as I got older. Um, 
So yeah, I always kind of wanted to get rid of it. I didn't really ever consider the fact that you could just get lipo. So I think for a while I tried to combat it with filler and um, chin filler and jaw filler. I'm not sure on this foundation, guys. It's definitely not like full coverage, I'll say that. Oh yeah, anyway, really happy with the results. I think I can really tell how much more defined I look. Um, I also have noticed that it's kind of What's the word? It's kind of like highlighted the fact that I have this off-center chin, <laughs> which I don't know if you guys tell that, but that's me being like super picky. Um, so yeah, the way it works is you go in, you get completely numbed up, um, and oh, I didn't show you the incision. Can you see that little black bit there? That's like the tiny little scar, which should go away on its own. Um, if not, it does not bother me because you don't see it from any angle of somebody talking to you, and it covers with makeup. Um, so you go in, you get completely numbed up, and I mean, I'm used to like the feeling of a cannula, which if you've had it, you'll know that like pushing, popping, pulling kind of feeling. I have said and stand by the fact that I found it less painful than Botox, and Botox is not painful at all. So completely painful, uh, painless. Um, the only little bit which felt uncomfortable was the incision being made, but it's just a tiny little cut, um, and you're already kind of numb at that point. And then this thing gets put inside, which has the numbing solution as well, so your whole like neck gets completely, um, I think it's like solution goes into numb inside, or something like that. So then you're completely, completely numb, and from there on, all you feel is just like pressure, tugging, that's it. Like, that is literally it, and the pressure and tugging feeling isn't enough to make you want to like stop, it's just that... It's like, oh, that's weird. Never felt that before. But like I say, I'm used to having a Kenya from when I used to get like jaw filler and my lips done. Um, so maybe I didn't find the tugging and all that too bad because I'm so used to cannulas. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Then they, you've got to wear this like head bandage for uh, two weeks at night time and a week in the day, like 24 hours for a week and then also for the next two weeks at night. Um, which wasn't too bad. After like day, day one, you're very swollen. Like I'm literally sore and just stressed me out. Day one, super, super swollen. Like literally looked like a Lego head. It was insane. And then honestly, by like day two, swelling reduced by like 50%. I think it was like by day five, I looked pretty much completely normal to somebody that wouldn't have known me. If you did know me, you'd know I was a little bit swollen. Um, the main thing for the first like two weeks is you just feel hard like every part of your jaw just is, is hard like to touch to yeah biggie can you be quiet please be quiet come over here um anyway so yeah i love it i think it's the best thing ever i love the fact that it's permanent i don't have to like, keep topping up with filler which i have obviously seen how bad badly wrong filler can go <laughs> i'm gonna put on a lot of rodeo banana a little lighter and just try and lighten up my face a bit Um, yeah like I say I like the fact that it's permanent I like the fact that I don't now need to try and get f use filler for the same effect Um, and it was painless it was the easiest recovery I just loved it and I think I mean I love the results I think it looks like I've had jaw filler especially up like around here when I have no filler on my face it's just been tightened Um, so yeah that's pretty much all the questions I think. Oh, it was quite expensive by the way. I think I paid, so it's more expensive if you go to London because it's her London clinic. It's less expensive up north. I think that's, I think that's what I was told. So I paid three and a half thousand, I think. Um, and when I had it done in Leeds, got Johnny to drive me up. I'll leave her Instagram down below. I'm not saying to go and get it done. I'm not advising you get it done. I'm just telling you what I had done. You have a six week checkup in, I don't know, a couple of weeks time, um, just for Selena to like check everything over and that's it, it's completely done. So, very easy. Oh, and also the whole procedure took like 20, 25 minutes. Guys, I've really messed up this whole like, I bought this Nude Sticks contour to try um, because I use this Bare Minerals foundation stick in Chestnut, but they just don't do it. I think, I think it's been discontinued or I haven't, been able, I haven't been able to find it for months maybe even like a year so anyway and also this is like literally four years old or three years old so it's kind of disgusting that I'm using it and it's starting to get like gunky like when I put it on it's like slimy and you can like peel bits off so yeah it's definitely out of date anyway I picked up this one from nude sticks to try um 
which Liv said, <gasps> wait, how does it go up? Oh yeah, okay. Um, which Liv said is amazing, but I've just stuck on the bare minerals one. I bought this Dior blush, I don't know when, like a month ago, maybe longer. I have not used a single other blush since I bought it, it's just the best tone. It just makes you look so healthy, so awake, and it doesn't look like blushy, it just looks like natural flush. And I also feel like it's the easiest thing, like you never really can go overboard with it, like it's just, I love it. I got was the NARS Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick. This look nice. Little glossy lipstick, I think. That's quite grand. So I'm going to just line my lips with some Beauty Pie. I also, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use MAC. This is MAC Strip Down. I just blotted a bit of the shine off of it, but I think that's really nice. What shade is it in? It's in the shade Breathless. Maybe a little bit too... No, I was going to say a little bit too bright, but I don't think it is. Outfit wise, I think I'm going to go for this. It's just an easy, comfy, fail safe, and I have like a two hour drive there, a two hour drive back, depending on traffic. This is a shirt from Stradivarius on ASOS. These are Next Jeans. They have been sold out for a while, but I'll have a look and see if they're back on. Loewe belt with the tan side. Um, Chloe trainers. I also then have my Reese navy blazer. My little Palen bag as well, because it ties in with the belt. And I feel like this is nice. I need to add jewellery. I feel like this outfit definitely needs a good hoop and possibly like a little chain. And I have some new jewellery that I'm going to try out as well. So I'm going to show you that now. So yeah, I have some new jewellery to share with you from my favourite Monica Vinader. You guys know how much I love their stuff. I have so many gorgeous key capsule pieces and I wear basically something from there every single day. Especially this little... Uh, green tennis bracelet. I absolutely love this. They do it in a diamond and I think, I think if I'm not wrong they do it in like a few other colours um, but I thought the green just looked so cute and just before I show you my new stuff I always get asked on Instagram about this bracelet and people specifically always ask do I wear it in the shower or do I sleep with it um, and the answer is yes. I literally do not remove it. I haven't removed it since I got it which probably would have been in like maybe like May or June um, and yeah, so it just went on and stays on and that's it. So if you guys do want to shop any of my pieces from Monica Villager, number one, I have an edit page, so I'll pop that down below um, and you can click into that and shop all my pieces. And number two, I have a 20% off code, which is Nadia20. I know a lot of you have been eagerly waiting for this over on Instagram. Like, do you have a Monica Villager code? And I'm like, it's coming, it's coming, I promise. So it's here again, Nadia20. Um, and if you shop through my edit page, the 20% is automatically applied. So, I don't know what I'm going to wear today. I've got a feeling I might wear my hoops from there. It's just like my classic. I mean, you guys have seen these a thousand times. Actually, I'm pretty sure the last time I wore this outfit, I wore these hoops. But they're just such a good everyday. Um, so I might wear them or I just picked up some new bits. I'm going to show you what I got. First thing is these, actually do you know what, I'm going to wear these hoops. You might have spied these, I wore them in last week's vlog. These are the power hoops in the size medium. I feel like these might be quite new, you know, um, but I love them. I love them because from the front they are quite a thin classic looking hoop and then from the side you can see they've got kind of a chunkier edge. Okay, so that is them in. You can see they do catch the light and they kind of stand out. Um, also, everything Monica Vinoja do are made from 100% recycled sterling silver and also 18 karat gold verme. So really gorgeous quality. I also picked up these ones though. I have the bigger version of these. I wore them a lot on holiday. But I got the little minis because I just thought how cute are they. Also, I feel like in the winter my 
hair kind of goes up into a bun a lot. I feel like with blazers and shirts, it just looks really good kind of tucked back. And I think a little chunky mini hoop like this always looks so chic. So that is these ones on. Actually, should I wear these today? No, these ones today, I feel like my outfit's kind of slightly vintage and these are kind of slightly vintage. <laughs> Such a good, like, classic everyday hope. These cover every part of your wardrobe. So your work wardrobe, your date night wardrobe, your dressy wardrobe. They're just a really good classic. And I picked up a couple of very simple necklaces. Again, like I said about the hoops coming into the autumn winter, I wear a lot of blazers, I wear a lot of, like, thin knits. Um, white t-shirts, shirts like this where you're kind of giving yourself that blank canvas. So I wanted a few very simple little pieces that I could layer together. So this is the little snake chain necklace. Is it going to focus? There you go. I just love a snake chain. I think it looks so, so chic. And I also like how it lies super flat on you. Um, also, this ties with this nice big hoop, um, which I actually think you could wear the necklace either way and have that at the front. See? You can definitely wear that back to front and I think that looks so cute. But for today, because I said I want something quite simple, I'm gonna twist it round and that's what it looks like. So just a really good classic, um, simple piece and the perfect piece for layering. Then I clip, picked up this little paperclip chain as well, which I think is gorgeous. Again, a really good one for layering and also because of the little dainty links, I feel like these are the best to kind of catch the light and add just a little bit more interest if you're doing more of a simple neck. Okay, my hair's annoying me already, I've stuck it back. Also, can I just say now that the light is kind of light, now that it's lighter outside, and I have natural light sitting on my face, that makeup's actually really, really nice. It's really kind of like flawless. Definitely not what it looked like with my ring light on, so that's good news. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the two necklaces layered. Also love the fact that this one, you can kind of customize the length of it because of the little chain links. So I've just put it to sit that little bit shorter than the snake chain, which I think looks gorgeous. And then can you see how it's just kind of catching the light? The last thing I picked up was this little ring. I've got quite a good collection of Monica Vinader rings now. I love them, especially this big boy. I feel like you all have seen this so many times with the matching earrings, but I just, I love it. This is the Dia, Dia? I think it's called Dia. Beaded stacking ring, which I just think is so cute. Very, very simple little design with those little beads. And yeah, I just think it's super pretty. So I don't want to go too crazy, but I do want to layer up a few pieces. So I'm going to start off with this one from Monica Vinader, which is kind of like an imperfect, very simple gold ring. But can you see the kind of detail in the metal, which I think is gorgeous. So maybe I will do that one and then this one, which is super, super simple. And pop that one on in the middle. And I think the deer ring on top will look gorgeous. Yes. I love that. Actually, no, that's perfect. I was gonna say maybe I should flip them upside down, but I think that looks good. So that's that hand. And then the other hand, maybe just this little snake ring, which you might remember. I love this one. It looks like two little snake heads to me. Also, all of their diamonds, pearls, and gemstones are ethically sourced as well. So, I feel like that's probably all that I need to do for jewellery. Um, it's quite a simple outfit, so I don't want to like, go overkill. And I feel like the jewellery is just kind of accessorising rather than like making the outfit. So, yeah, perfect. So yeah, I need to head off very soon. But um, just to remind you, if you guys do want to shop anything from Monica Vinader at Nadia20, we'll get you 20% off. I will leave all the links down below. Um, and yeah, I'll probably just chat to you in London now because I feel like I need to run around, do some last minute bits and bobs and then um, I can go and relax for the day. Can I get a soda with elderflower, please? We're at Mr. Nice with Isabella and Freya. Hi. <laughs> we got some burrata to start, which looks delicious. It does look so good. Such a nice day, guys. Honestly, I know I've said it like the whole way through my last two vlogs, but I just can't believe how hot it is in the middle of October. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. Like, so hot. It's like summer. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're just sitting out. We've got a really nice little seat out here. Enjoying the weather. We've got a Caesar salad. That's perfect. Looks so good. And some chickpeas. And you got pasta? <laughs> we don't know what Isabella got, but wait, Ronnie. It looks a lot better with the taco on it. It does. Yeah. It looks much more appetizing. <laughs> so Good morning, guys. Um, so, first of all, I want to start off by saying I, I used that. Nude sticks contour wand or stick 
Um, it's good. It's really good. I just think I need to get a shade darker. Um, but I do like it. I feel like it's the closest to the Bare Minerals one that I've found. Um, it's just a little bit like not as... It's, it blends really nicely, but it's just not, nothing just, com nothing compares to the Bare Minerals one. But anyway, it does the job, and I feel like it is really nice and natural looking. London the other day was so nice. It was nice to go up and just not really have to work up there, and just go up and, like, have a nice day. Um, Liv and I were actually just saying that we need to go up and do that, and just have nothing on the agenda, just go around the shops, have a nice lunch. Today I'm at home, and I have some odd jobs to take off the list, which I thought we could do together. I put in a few shelves yesterday. It was one of my jobs on my to-do list since, I mean, literally a month ago. But in my head, it was a really hard job to do. And I was just, I was just not there for it. But actually, I did it yesterday. And it was like the easiest thing in the world. So let me turn you around. So this is my corner unit. And these shelves are actually the most handy thing in the world. Actually, I feel like this unit is just so so handy i've never had a corner unit with the packs before so like anyway love it but in one of these shelves i had like this pull out um trouser drawer which is just it wasn't getting used it was far too small i think you could only hang like four trousers on it obviously i own about fifty thousand pairs of trousers so they're all hanging up and that drawer was um where was it it was here on this shelf so then underneath that it was just like this empty hole so i ended up putting in a few more shelves and today's job is to take out every single bag on here and try and fit all my handbags into these shelves. I have one, actually I have quite a lot of bags downstairs, like bigger bags. Um, and then outside I have like all my summer bags still in a box from moving. So I just want to get everything out and then make this make sense. I've also the bottom drawer down here. Can you see the Fendi bag drawer? I left that long enough or deep high enough where I could fit my high bags into it, which is really handy, but that is only fitting three bags right now. And I have quite a lot of bigger bags. So I still need to figure out that part of it, but I'm very happy with how it's looking. It's very, very handy having um, all these shelves. So step one, just take everything out <laughs> and then I can make piles on the floor. This is all of like my bags I would say I use, not daily, but mostly, especially the winter ones, a lot of dark um, toned ones. This is a box of my summer bags. To be honest, it'd be good to get them under the bed, but honestly, like I filled up. Actually, that's a lie. There's a downstairs bed I could use. Um, so I'm going to start putting these in. This is the space I'm working with. So actually, it should be okay. It's also pretty deep, like they go back pretty far. Like these three, like eye level ones, need to be the ones I wear the most. And um, obviously the bigger bags can go down there. Hopefully this little space under here will be empty so things like my travel bags can go there. I've got a long shop one as well. I'm gonna try and see if I can put summer bags on the very top because I'm not gonna be up there much. <laughs> so much this is um a nina bing but i just think it looks so expensive it has a crossbody strap as well um and i think it's just oh where is it okay well i did have a crossbody strap <laughs> i am um, feel like it's just one of the most perfect autumn winter just chic day to night bags i just love it i got it on farfetch so if it's still available i will link this one down below for you this is one of my actually this was my first ever ysl was it? No, second ever YSL purchase, but first purchase with the money I made from doing this career. The actual first one was this gorgeous one. And I used to work in a little shop <laughs> in my village. This is what I bought with my like first proper paycheck. So I love this one. I still use it all the time. This one I absolutely adore, but I broke, the, well, I didn't break it. The strap broke, you see? Literally, like, I mean, I used to wear this to death, but the strap broke. But it's in, like, perfect condition otherwise. Um, but, yeah, the strap broke. And, stupidly, I mean, this strap literally broke when I last, 
when I, actually when I lived in Johnny's, was it Johnny's? Yeah, when I lived in Johnny's flat, so a good like six years ago, and it's just, actually I'm ashamed to even say it, it's just one of those things that's been on my to-do list and I just have never got around to doing it. Even when I lived in London, I could have just got an Uber and gone and done it, so I need to get that sorted ASAP. This is another favourite, it's a little belt bag. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Didn't wear this like at all through the summer, but I feel like it's a really good one for autumn winter, um, especially in the colder winter months when you're wearing like a thicker blazer and then like your blazer is the jacket um and then you can nip in your waist with this but yeah i just love that and then of course you can wear it just as like a little pouch so cute <laughs> So well, so at the top is summer bag, so like wooden, rattan, um, linen. Then this is more kind of like my smaller everyday black bag, so Strathbury, I love this one. You can see it's got khaki, black and cream, which just makes it the most perfect little bag for autumn winter. My Chloe one, which obviously you guys see all the time. And then all down there, it's just black bags. This is more black, but also holding some of the larger ones. Little YSL and the YSL, Jill Sander, my Dior's back there. Down here is actually kind of like my Polen shelf. <laughs> so this bag, I mean, I cannot believe how much I wore this bag in the autumn, uh, in the spring, summer. It is just beautiful. And even now coming into the winter, I've not, I mean, I've slowed down wearing it, but I still wear it so much. Um, the Palen handbags are just absolutely stunning. So I've got a couple back there and then also some bags that are kind of awkward to store. This section has then freed up um, for travel bags. So I have my Louis Vuitton and also a Longchamp. And then back there I have a YSL tote and my Fendi tote. And then inside the Fendi one is my Chloe one. And now I have this section free, which is really handy because I can pop in some of my kind of like country boots. There's anything that's kind of overspill from this section, but also the bits that get muddy and stuff, you know, I can just pop them in here and tuck them away. This little basket of belts, which to be honest, I don't know if I really wear any of them. Oh look, there's the little thing for the Anina Bing handbag. <laughs> um, but I'm not... I think it's just handy to have some kind of little basket situation. So umbrella um, and boots. And then I've obviously got this section which you can put stuff on. That looks so much better, so much more organized. I really also need to go through and declutter the shoe situation because I have so many pairs. Um, and a lot of pairs I don't wear. Like these Manolos, absolutely obsessed with them. Bought them so quick when I saw them. And I don't think I've, well, maybe I've worn them like once, but they just don't get the wear and it's such a shame. I love them. I have a lot of trainers. To be fair, I do wear a lot of them, but I do wear a lot of chunky trainers now. So a lot of the kind of more slim ones I don't really wear as often. But yeah, that feels good to have had that done. I'll also just show you my new slippers that... Oh my God, I need a pedicure so bad. My new slippers that Johnny bought me from the White Company. How cute are these? Oh my goodness, it's been a good couple of hours since I last saw you guys. I just had this like wave of tiredness good boy wave of tiredness absolutely knocked me and I just had like a two hour nap on the bed um so that was weird and I feel very like away with it but we're just good boy just getting the pigs out for a little walk together the in the whole world. Good boy. <laughs> but when we get back I am gonna cook some fish for dinner and then I'm gonna have a seriously early bed mug of tea possibly start a book I've got this like burning want to start the secret again so i think i might start that tonight and i'm wearing my new have i shown you this yeah my new varley jacket i've just got some new bits um ordered from there so i'm probably sharing them with you in the next vlog and has well and truly hit so i have my holland cooper shearling lined welly boots and honestly guys if you need a pair of wellies for the coming season please get these they're the best Good morning guys, I slept in, I have PT at 9 and it's currently half past 8, to be fair I got up at 20 to 8 so it's not that bad, <laughs> but I just slept over my alarm for like an hour which always gives me a bit of a stressful start. Yeah, this is my first session this week, 
I was meant to have one on Wednesday, but I was just so tired after driving up and down to London both those days. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but actually, like sitting in the car for like eight hours, well, four hours a day, it's a lot. <laughs> it makes me so tired. Um, so I moved it to today, which feels better. And I'm wearing another Tala gym set. So I showed you, I showed you, I showed you the black one, and then I also got like the kind of mauve coloured one, and then I picked up the navy one and also a sage green one last week just because I think they're so good so comfortable really nice to work out in and um, I also picked up the sports bra to go with the navy set but went for in size medium because a lot of my actually it looks like it fits really nicely on camera it does fit nicely it's just not supportive enough well it is it just feels like the straps could be a tiny bit tighter that's how I feel um but all my other sports bras from like Lululemon or wherever, I always get them in like a size small, around about that, UK 8 size small, and they always feel so tight and restrictive and like almost like there's not enough length on the strap and it's like my shoulders feel like they're being condensed. So I went for medium in this one, but actually now that I'm looking at it in the camera, maybe, no, it just, it's kind of gapy at the, like here, you know? But anyway, I'll see how it is when I work out. I didn't film anything in the gym. Because there was about a hundred people in there, that's a lie. It was like, it's just quite busy. It's just a bit awkward to put a camera up. But got a little coffee for the way home. And now I'm gonna make some breakfast and then our cleaners are in. So I don't know what really to do for myself. It's a bit hard to film in their hair, so, but I need to get a shower. First you wash my hair and then I'll probably take Biggie out if this rain holds off a little bit. Um, but I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast recently because I'm obsessed. Um, first of all, it's this yogurt from Waitrose. This Greek yogurt, I used to drink the 0%, is it called Faye? I think it's Faye. Um, but then I tried this one from Waitrose and honestly, it's the creamiest, nicest yogurt ever. So I've been having it with like whatever I want on top, like strawberry jam, lemon curd, blueberries. But at the minute, I'm doing one pot of this yogurt with goji berries on top and then chia seeds. And then lemon curd. I used the one from Dale's curd, but I think I'm about to run out, which is so sad. Yeah. This one from Dale's curd, like a spoonful of that. And then blueberries, if I can find them. It's the nicest breakfast. It keeps me full for ages. Yeah, but like burgers and stuff. Shush. Shush, man. Enough. Enough, look. <laughs> the absolute worst person on this earth. <laughs> Shoot! Hey, For food presentation, but I literally just mix it all in together. And every bite has like no, yogurt, lemon, see. blueberry. Yeah. And then some of the bites have like a little yeah. crunch from the goji berry because they get really cold in here. But yeah, delicious. Have I got a double chin? No, because you had it sucked out by a lipo, remember? <laughs> um, we're just heading off for a trick question. No, I, 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 I did a whole update in this because I feel like it's not really sore anymore, is it? You can kind of, it's still hard, but anyway, we're heading off for a little pub late lunch. It's like four o'clock. I hope they're still doing food. We think they do. You said they do it all day. Yeah, I think they do. I think they just serve three, but find out, won't we? Last yeah. time we well, it was like three o'clock, wasn't it? We're such creatures of habit, you know that. We find a place that we like and then we annihilate it until we get bored of it. Yeah, there's We've nothing always, wrong with that. We did it to Running Horse, we did it to Brook House in London. We're doing it right now to this pub. Running Horse was just convenient because it's easy to get to. With the doggies. I thought this was going to be easy to get to, but... Not no. right now in the traffic. I'm going to eat. It's I, four o'clock. I fancy like a burger, you know. A burger and a red wine. Is that the shrimp burger? No, a real burger. Is that bad though? Because last like... Because no, I worked out, it just felt like you're undoing your workout. Look how delicious this looks. I got a hake on some kind of bed of beans. <laughs> and we also got a piece of dessert. I got a big fat, is it T-bone? T-bone. Steak. Yum. I'm ready for this. Chips, of course. <laughs> about to head out and meet Liv and Arthur for a little coffee and I'm going to take Yodi with me so I can get him like into town. It definitely won't be busy but it's just good to get him like to a coffee shop you know. 
Um, so I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing quickly. So this is the mango coat that I bought recently. I love it so much, especially paired with like lighter tones. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I have this little vest on from Stories. It's got little like side ties. Um, it's actually really cold outside. It's like 10 degrees, but it's nice and sunny. So I feel like a little knitted vest is like the perfect option. Um, trousers are Reese and then I'm going to wear my Chloe Lauren sneakers and then also my YSL mini Cassandra. I'm going to just pack Yodi up. Johnny and Biggie are still asleep so I'm going to be quiet. I don't know where any of this stuff is. Johnny was asleep but Johnny might need to be woken up because I don't know where anything of Yodi's is. Where's your little collar gone darling? Do you know? Good morning. No, careful. Mummy's going to get your collar and then we'll get you out. Anyway, I'm going to sort him out, pack up my stuff, and I will chat to you when I'm at coffee. At coffee? Having coffee. Just got to brunch with Olivia and Mr. Arthur is in there fast asleep. Is he sleeping? Yeah, he is. Black coffee, and we're going half and half on a pan of chocolate, and that cinnamon, cinnamon bun is probably the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. Mm -hmm. That is good. <laughs> I'm back. Did a quick change. Do you want to be in this? I don't mind. Swapped over doggies, picked up my husband, and now <laughs> we're taking Yodi to get a little groom, which is so exciting. He's fast he is fast asleep. He's so tired from that coffee date, but at least can smell the dogs. I know. Um, <laughs> this is where I used to take Beanie for like daycare and grooming, but I thought let's just get Yodi in. He needs a little wash anyway. He's getting a bit stinky to get him um, used to all this. So you can have a little. Bit. He's so tired. So I feel so bad for Biggie because I just know he's he would. Yeah, but I know he would love a groom if he just let himself have one. Like yeah, he would never, never, never in a million years. That's the last thing that I think we can work towards. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never put someone in that position. He gets freaked out and bloody stuff Oh god, whatever. can you imagine a hair dryer coming at him? No. He literally. Oh no. So anyway, we're gonna drop off little Yodi. It's like a forty-minute appointment, I think, and we're gonna walk Biggie around the little. What would you call it? Broads. Fields. Fields. Just on a casual day of grapevine picking. Gonna make some I home brew. Home and then I get out and walk and I look like this. This is so annoying. Oh, should I show you guys what we've been learning? Okay. What do you mean you've been learning? I literally just taught you five seconds ago. <laughs> taught you five seconds ago yeah. with his owner. Let me just this. Legolas from Lord, Lord of the Rings. Lord Farquhar. <laughs> Legolas from Lord of the Rings. Um, Johnny's just been nattering to me. By the way, we're in like this little, very secluded, like country little village. Yeah, but it's also not that far. Anyway, Johnny's saying he misses, he misses London, like he doesn't really love being where we are. He doesn't hate it, doesn't love it. And then we're in this little like literal ten house village and he's like, this is where we should have lived. Wouldn't this be no, so I much better? And I'm like, specifically, this is a hundred this times. This is a different lifestyle. Winchester is not London. It doesn't have the restaurants, it doesn't have all those things. It has so it's not Ivy. the same. So being close to it for me isn't something that I care about. I think we'd get really bored here though. I get really bored. Because you at home still shop. wouldn't want to go. No, because <laughs> I go out all the time. Yeah, but every, it's still a 15 minute. Like if you wanted to walk in town, it's still 20, oh, 30 yeah, minutes. Oh, yeah, someone's back garden here. It feels like we might be. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. I think we'd be. But it's I'm kind of like when we talk about the Cotswolds. I think the shine of the Cotswolds would wear off within five months and we'd be like, well, this is boring. Apart from me, yeah, I was gonna say apart from you'd have like Dalesford and so on, but even that, you'd be like, I'm so bored now. But for me, it's like we're still 20 minute walk from the places that you'd want to go. I don't walk anywhere. So we're not close. Speaking of being in the countryside and not in London anymore, I had a comment on my last vlog saying that my vlogs are boring and <laughs> switch up. No, but I, I just deleted it straight away because I was like, that's just mean. But also, it got me a little bit like anxious for a day or two because I was like, do you guys find it boring? Like, I just literally share my life with you and I, I'm i not gonna go out and like do things for the vlog. The thing is my life is pretty, to most people probably quite boring. I love being at home. I love walking the dogs. I love being in the countryside and <coughs> whoa, me. butterfly. Me in there. I love Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we as a couple anyway, like we, we, our best kind of day is like a long dog walk, go to the pub, have a glass of red wine, good old chin wag. Go home, watch a movie, go to bed. Seven shots of tequila. And Johnny probably stays up till like one o'clock in the morning, but I go to bed like half eight. But you know, it just really like kind of got to me. I actually texted Lauren about it and I was like, I feel really like stressed about this. And she's like, don't be silly. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd address it. What I read is that it's not, what I read into it is that it's not that the vlogs are boring, it's that there's not much different that happens in most of them. 
It's called life, people. I know. Your lives are probably exactly the same. I know. <laughs> but it just, you know when something just like sticks in your head and it just like really like, it got in my brain. Then in the same breath, that is one comment where I know that I have all you lovely girls that always comment and say how much you love my vlogs and you love just seeing the daily life. But it is what everyone says. You get a hundred good comments and one bad one and that one bad one will literally keep you up at night. And yeah, anyway, I just kind of, I don't know why I'm like addressing it. I just felt like I wanted to have a little chat with you guys because I hope they're not boring. But I appreciate that my life isn't, I don't go here, there and everywhere. I don't go yeah. out shopping every day. We also have things in our life that we don't share and don't, I know. And don't I know. look into, so. Um, but yeah, there's just been a lot, a lot going on behind the scenes. And one day I'll be able to sit down and catch you all up to speed. But um, yeah, I hope you don't find them boring because I, I love days like this. I love filming days like this. Tell you what, I do find you a bit boring though. <laughs> <laughs> I find you boring. I find, <laughs> we are quite no. I say I always say this as like a defense. I always always say this to people like, oh, you know, but I am quite boring. Like I do live a boring life. But actually, that's just such a lie that I just say because I assume people might think that about me. Like I love my life. I love the way I live it. I love quiet days at home. I love country walks. I love what my life looks like. And I just need to stop always saying that to people. Like whenever I meet, even like to my mum, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so boring. I'm like, no, I'm I'm only saying that because my mum tells me I'm boring. She's like, you need to go out and have fun. But that's not my idea of fun, you know? Anyway, peace out. I'll show you your D when he's nice and clean. Fresh melon pig lit, pig lit. Well, you know, and he's probably absolutely really good zonked. He's gonna snooze all day. It's half past one and this is my third outfit of the day. I have my coffee day outfit, I have my grooming and dog walk outfit. Get my and now I have my pub lunch outfit. So this jumper is Anina Bing. I love it. I just wish I got it in like a size up so it'd be like here, you know, just a little bit longer. But anyway, I love it. They actually do this in quite a few different colours. Or they did last year. Um, acne jacket, which I just love. I always love when I can get it back out of the wardrobe. Like I just like refall in love with it every year. Uh, Reese leggings. Doc Martens. So those little Monica Vinader hoops that I showed you at the start and my rings. Actually, yeah, all my rings are Monica Vinader. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave you guys there. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, remember, if you want to shop any of the Monica Vinader jewellery, Nadia20 gets you 20% off. And I will catch up with you all next week. Bye-bye.